again for Nato Quintana to try and chase down Enric Mas and Miguel Angel Lopez. And Yates, he's been doing all that attacking and then Lopez attacks and he expects the others to chase. This is where you expose yourself and that's exactly what he's done. He's opening the door up for Lopez and Enrique Mas. And very quickly, Lopez is out to an 11 second advantage over Yates and Enrique Mas has almost bridged across to him. Out in front, 17 seconds further in front of Lopez is Thibaut Pino. And there they emerge just out of the mists. It's like a mystery flight. You're not sure what you'll get yeah. as they come through the clouds at Lagos de Govodonga. And see, Quintana is playing that card with Yates. Yates is flicking the elbow, but he can't get frustrated. He's done too much attacking. He's exposed himself. He's only got himself to blame for this. And Quintana is explaining to Yates, I'm not working. And now Quintana is asking for Alejandro Valverde to come through. Yeah. Valverde has only just made it back to this group and he's already been sacrificing himself. Well, he should be working though, Valverde. He should be. Lopez is out to 11 seconds, 13 seconds now ahead of the red jersey. The hardest part of the climb is done. Yep, yeah, and it's a flatter section here. Thibaut Pino, one, one kilometre to go in fact for Pino, so he's gone under the one kilometre banner. I can't see them catching Thibaut Pino. The Frenchman is driving towards success here. And he's on a downhill slope here. It's a descent, in fact, before the final push to the line. And he's putting himself back inside the top 10 overall and in contention to challenge for the red jersey with still plenty of oh my. in this race. Valverde, followed by Yates, Quintana, Mass, and Cruz Vike has survived. And Lopez is looking like he's going to gain a few seconds as well. I'm not sure if they're going to catch back up anything now. Here he is. He can't see the leader on the road there, Tibor Pino. Now the quick left-hand turn. That's the final corner. He's taking time on the red jersey. Yep. It's been a good day out for Lopez. Yeah, it'll be almost 10 seconds. Through this corner. And Tibor Pino, <laughs> on a clear day, would see the finish line. He won't see that wow. much until about 75 metres to go. But it has been Tibor Pino today who has been tremendous as he punches his way to success and he's looking for time gains because Thibaut Pino is thinking long term. There's the win for the stage and he's back in contention for overall honours. Lopez, the best young rider in the race, he wants to swap the white jersey for the red jersey. It won't be enough today, but he has taken a big step forward. Superman has put his cape on. A starter, they took